I have not gone through any of the course notes and I've got a week and a half until the exam. Hey everyone, welcome to a new vlog. It is a study vlog this week because I've got exams coming up and there's only one thing I can afford to spend my time on and that is studying. <laughs> Obviously trying to keep a healthy balance, but this sitting, I have left all of my revision a little teeny bit late. As time goes on with these actuarial exams, I keep getting more and more relaxed about them. So far it's been okay. I've passed every exam I've sat, but I'm worried I'm gonna push it too far one time and I'm gonna fail. <laughs> it is under two weeks until my first exam now. I am getting a few study days off work, today being one of them. I've been doing past papers. I feel a little bit more more relaxed because the questions haven't been as bad as I thought they would be. I can actually make a decent attempt at them. This afternoon I have scheduled a live study session on YouTube just because it forces me to study. Other people will be studying, there's a bit of solidarity there. The pass rate for one of the exams I'm sitting is about 35%. I found this out two days ago and it was not very welcome news. I always have been a little bit of a crammer when it comes to exams. I will definitely be up the night before the exams just flicking through my content. That's just me. But I'm just really hoping that any last minute cram that I do in these two weeks is going to be enough to get me a pass. There's this huge textbook for my economics exam that I won't lie, I've barely read any of. I'm really hoping some common sense is just going to get me through this one. I've done a few flashcards, you know, hopefully that's enough. I wouldn't care about what people thought of me if I failed. I'd care more about the fact that I'd have to spend time resitting the exam. That's a lot of effort. Anyways, I'm gonna go get some lunch because I've scheduled my study session to start in half an hour's time. And like magic, food is here. <laughs> the thing with actuarial exams is you just have to put your life on hold for like a few weeks during exam season, but the rest of the time is actually quite chill. I've just got to get through this next few weeks. I'm just going to a rowing outing because I lied earlier. I'm not full time studying. I am doing a few other things with my life, such as coxing, because I felt like I couldn't leave my crew for two whole months or whatever, just to fend for themselves while I studied. So, still doing two rowing outings a week. No. Rowing? Yes. Coat of change. Here we have the kitchen and some pasta and some music. Decided to cycle to the boathouse this evening when most weeks I drive. Reason being, I feel like I haven't moved all day today because I've just been inside studying and not leaving the house. So I need some sort of activity. I have been told it's windy, so I'm really hoping I don't regret this decision to cycle because cycling in the wind isn't fun. But you know, woo, exercise, I guess. my outing and had our debrief. It's actually a fun one this evening. I enjoyed it. My toes are just about regaining feeling in them. It was a very cold cycle home and I've just made myself some pizza. I am so hungry right now so I am going to demolish this very quickly. Plan is to look at a few more questions this evening just so I feel like I've put in a real good effort on my study day and then get to bed not too late because i'm going to london tomorrow it's a normal day of client work tomorrow unfortunately not every day can be a study day as much as i'd like it to be when we're this close to exams but i'm going into the london office because i've got plans in london tomorrow evening and it's easier for me to get to those plans if i'm working in london it does mean i don't think i'm going to get any revision done tomorrow it's a full day off from revision which isn't ideal this close to exams but hey we'll make it up at the weekend the weekend i have blocked out solidly for study even though my friends are doing things my friends are all going to london to watch the boat race and i'd really love to go like it's such a great atmosphere but i just cannot i've made it to london i should be in the office to nine o'clock but i'm really not sure how busy the office is going to be today 
because normally it's quite dead on a Friday, like just from video calls with people in the London office, there's basically no one there on a Friday. But there is this lunch social thing to organise, so it could be a little bit more busy. This evening I have a cocktail masterclass with some fellow YouTubers. I'm very excited. I don't know who's going, but it's just nice to meet other content creators, other YouTubers who do the same thing as me. It is bitterly cold this morning, I won't lie. I thought spring had arrived, honestly. It was so sunny a few days ago, but this, this is another level. I need my woolly hat today. I have reached the stage now where I don't need to use Google Maps to find my way to the office from Liverpool Street Station. I'm actually really proud of myself. All the buildings in London look the same. It's just a load of skyscrapers. It's easy to get lost, but I found my way now. I'm a full adult. Today was such a nice day. It got off to such a nice start as well because I hadn't had time to have breakfast before I left. So I was like, right, I'll go and get myself a croissant at Prep before I go into the office. And the guy at Prep was like, yeah, it's on the house. So I got a free almond croissant this morning. And it's just the little things sometimes, you know, that make me really happy. I am now walking to South Bank area, which is where my social, cocktail masterclass thing is because it was only 10 minutes slower than getting the tube and I really hate the tube and it's nice to do some sightseeing see the sights of London like the monument is right in front of me I'm a little bit worried because my phone keeps freezing on me today and I'm quite reliant on my phone my phone has got my train tickets it's got google maps on it and my phone dies on me I don't know where I'm going I haven't lost in London by myself <laughs> walking over London Bridge. This is true London. This is the bar manager. I know nothing in Now it's just a bit of a trek back to Cambridge, which is a little bit of a pain. The train's not too bad from King's Cross, but the annoying thing is I'm not going to be able to cycle home once I get back to Cambridge because I've had a few drinks. And we don't drink and cycle, kids. Probably going to have to Uber it or something once I get back to Cambridge Station, but yeah. Plan is get home, get to bed and study. Like, this has been my day off. I've had a nice day working in London, seeing colleagues and out for drinks after work. We need to get back to reality because exams are in less than two weeks time. Okay, I can see a bus approaching. Please be a 63. Please be a 63. Please be a 63. It's a 63. Yeah. Morning everyone, I'm sitting here in my Percy Pig pyjamas, it's 10.30, I've had some Nutella on toast and I've rung my parents. We're off to a great start to the day. I need to get studying. I'm going to schedule a live study session, that's the first thing I'm going to do. I'm going to run upstairs and put a live study session for 2 until 4 this afternoon. Because I need to focus, you know, exams are coming. I'm really tired today, it took me 
quite a long time to get back. We had delays with the train. I was in bed at like half one, one forty-five. That's a wild night for me. Let's go study. Let's go study. I cannot procrastinate anymore. I just need to get going. Off we go. Getting out of bed, going to schedule my live study session. Get up, get going, pass papers. Just finished my live study session. Did some productive work, which is good. I've just grabbed myself a decaf coffee. I will admit I've been starting to have caffeine again recently. I literally did a few years where I barely had any caffeine because I just had too much of it at uni. It gave me the jitters. So I was like, right, let's just stay away from caffeine. I've been getting back onto it a little bit lately, but it's the afternoon. Decaf coffee for the afternoon, everyone. And the exciting thing. <laughs> And the real reason I started vlogging, really, is I am trying Maryland Cookies Jammy Dodgers Cross that I found in the supermarket the other day. I like Jammy Dodgers and I like Maryland Chocolate Chip Cookies, so this is going to be amazing. Raspberry flavour cookies with chocolate chips and raspberry pieces. Here, they. Oh, I'll report back on what they taste like. Just had a rowing outing. Went out with a crew of four and we had a coach and it was very nice because it's a beautiful day and coxing is just 10 times more fun when it's sunny. Cycling back, getting a bit of activity, moving about because I realised I barely left the house yesterday. I think I left the house for about five minutes to get food and that was it. So it's been good to get some outdoors time this morning. Hello everyone, I have just done a live study session. When I say just did it, it ended about an hour ago. I have since called up my parents. I tried asking them some economics questions. My mum did a business degree, so she can help me with a business economics exam, right? And my dad, he got his best grade for his O levels in economics. So I was like, wow, my parents are just gonna help me out and make me pass this exam with flying colours. But they've forgotten a lot of it unfortunately the problem is my strategy for this particular economics exam is to just do the practice past paper questions and not actually read any of the textbook content like i have not gone through any of the course notes i'm just diving into these exam papers and expecting myself to use some common sense and intuition to know the answers now it's worked in some cases i've got to say i think i've done a pretty good job like a, for a first attempt at some of these questions way to go me like I have more knowledge of supply and demand and market structures than I thought. But there's a there's a lot of it that I just don't understand. They keep drawing a load of curves and graphs and I've got a week and a half until the exam. The other development of the day is that I am under the weather. I've got a blocked nose and I can feel my throat is a little bit dry, a little bit tickly. I feel well enough to revise, but it's a bit of a worry that it could be COVID, right? With all this COVID going around. So my plan is to do a test tomorrow morning before I leave for the office. We're all on the edge of our seats, really. Comment below, do you think Paige has COVID or not based on her symptoms? I might just play some saxophone because it's set up. I can see my music, my Disney music is out and I just kind of fancy playing a bit of a tune. It is raining. Really not a very nice morning. I've decided to walk in rather than cycle this morning. I prefer walking in the rain to cycling in the rain. You can't have an umbrella when you're cycling. I did my lateral flow test this morning and I was negative, which is good news. I just need to get out of the house before I go into a complete study hole.
peeps, I forgot to end this vlog. It's now Wednesday, end of the working day, about to leave the office. It's six o'clock, so it's not all too bad. Didn't really get working until 9.45 today, so it's been a reasonable day of work. I'm feeling better. I've shaken this cold off pretty much now. Tomorrow we've got a whole load of colleagues coming to visit us in Cambridge who are normally based in London and Brygate. I'm worried about the amount of work I'm gonna get done in the working day with so many people visiting and also less screens. I've gotta work on just a single laptop screen, but we're gonna go with it. The only thing I want to stress about in the next few weeks is exam. I am not letting myself stress about anything else other than exams because exams are stressful enough in themselves. I do not need to stress about actual work work as well. I'm gonna end this vlog. Thank you for watching. Give the video a like, please do, would really appreciate it. Comment down below, say hey, subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram. Yeah, see you soon with another video, guys. Bye-bye.